Okay, I just turned at the Mecca Motel. Driving up Ridge Road. One of the funny things is that nobody minds if you drive up Ridge Road with your video camera going because it's what tourists do. They just shake their heads at being a fool. There's the home right there. Yeah. Pretty darn sweet. This is 215 Ridge. I will show you Ridge Road because it is an entrance into Garden of the Gods. That there is John Riker and Marcia Dobson's house. They're across the street. Which goes and bombs right down there to the Mecca Motel. There's the Garden of the Gods. Now, you would not have mountain goat children if you had rocks like this in your front yard, would you? I'm going to do some detail here because the landscaping on this house is actually pretty darn awesome. It's so minimalist, but from what I can see, it's so good. I mean, just well done. That is a synthetic deck. I don't know if it's Trex or whatever, but I love wrought iron railings because railings usually fall out. I don't know what the windows are, but they appear to be fiberglass or aluminum clad on the outside. I picked a good day to go get a breakfast burrito at Rudy's Barbecue. You can smell Rudy's from here. That nice hickory smoke. So this is the deck off the master. You can see the window wells. That's one of the two bedrooms downstairs. They give them credit for three. This one right here is worthless. Strange amount of grass. This is the other bedroom. That's the nice one. It doesn't have a window well. So you can see the underside of the deck. I think the driveway's heated. I didn't see that. That is quite the outdoor power supply. So it's got this great garden down here. So you can actually grow vegetables in Colorado. It's unheard of. Almost a labyrinth style arena down here. And um, it's a pretty nice setting. So that's an inlay, that blue French tile. And the deck wraps all the way around here. There's the peak. Here's a big eight foot door to the outside with speakers. And like you have no one that you're looking at this way. There's a house way down there. This isn't a house in sight this way. Cedar Heights is way up there. These are the giant rock fins in the front. You can see the garden in the distance that way. I believe the Garden of the Gods actually abuts the lot to the side. Certainly no access problems. It's a little cobwebby, but these are big honking lights. They're nice. Here's the front door. A lot of use of pine wood. All the floors are pine. Built-ins, wainscoting, crown moldings, hand trowel texture. Masters over there. Office, huge office. Focus, please, focus. You can see there's a UV fade telling me that the windows are original. Kitchen's back behind. And there's that walk out to that patio. I mean, it's, I'm not doing much to filter that out. That's your view from about anywhere in the house. Here is the main level living room. Peak. Great TV area, like really well done. These cabinets looked odd online. 
I had the privilege of staying at one very expensive hotel in Hawaii once, and that's actually what they look like in person. Um, go see if they get the soft clothes. There you go. This is glass. Just really nicely done detail. Online, I'm like, what are those? And in person, they're just, they're really classic looking. Eat-in kitchen area, might be your dining room. One window's fogged up there, but they got transoms. I couldn't tell what was going on with the kitchen cabinets in person. They're awesome with that inlay. Double ovens, plus a big range. Range is a Thermador. KitchenAid refrigerator, KitchenAid double ovens. So I think they had these, this detail added with that red. It's not really an inlay, it's a paint. Not a huge pantry, but there's a pantry. And then you got all this. So really, this is a melamine cabinet. And this is, I don't know what to say about this, other than I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. Um, let's see, got the cool Edison lights. So this is, I don't think it's marble, I think it's a cultured synthetic product. And just, you know, dry cracks. And I guess this is the dining room or the ballroom. I don't know what, but awesome light fixture, huge built-in china, and they herringbone this. I don't know what this tile is, but it's very high quality. You can see that's not um, hand troweled, and this is, maybe you can't see that. Not hand troweled, hand troweled. Maybe you can see it there. Eyeball spots, cool entry chandelier, go back to the master. Outside the master is a powder room, big pedestal sink. If you wanted cabinetry storage, you could add it. There's obviously no cabinetry storage on a pedestal, no mirror, but very cool light fixtures that they did on the inside. Here's the master, it's got its own fireplace, two-sided. Really nice hearth work. Uh, this is the view from the master deck. Um, no one in sight. Weather station. Come over here. There's the peak. So from here you get a better feel of the size of the master. Easily would fit a California King on that side. Um, this is apparently built in, this big green TV hutch. That obviously could come right out. Good looking ceiling fan, different. For me, a good looking ceiling fan is not something I've seen at Home Depot or Lowe's. Not much of a litmus test. Big tub shelf. So it's a two-sided fireplace. Um, dated in here in the sense of the cabinetry and the vanities. Uh, pretty easy remedy. They've changed out the lights to be much more modern. Steam shower. Needs a little bit of grout work inside it. But two heads. Above average master closet. You could play football in it. Probably could use some more shelving to it, a little bit more flare, but it's huge. More eyeball spots for whatever kind of detail you choose to have. Built-in speakers. 
Just like I pointed out the weather station, I'm a nerd on mechanical. So they've got touch pad thermostats upstairs and downstairs. It's one furnace, it's a 95, 96% efficient Lennox, and it appears to be two zones. Here's the big old office on the main level. Fantastic view of the peak. Eyeball spots everywhere, really handsome light fixtures. Found a fault, something broken right here. Not a window, just missing a piece of trim. Oh, speaking of trim, this is the floor trim throughout the house. You can see that line from the rug. This is where they got the idea for whatever they did to the kitchen cabinets, where they restained this and they went red. And this looks quite nice. And it's quite dramatic, actually, because there's this transition where you've got the pine trim that comes over here into the white cabinetry. And then it comes down these stairs where the railings have white spindles. And they went wainscoting crazy on the stairs. There's the hand trowel, better example of it. So you've got this kicking out. It's a nice, dramatic, fun, different entrance. Not southwestern at all, but fun. Nine foot ceilings, quite a bit of echo because they've got uh, this synthetic laminate style planked flooring. It looks quite handsome. It's like a dusky bluish gray wood. I wouldn't say bluish. It's looking bluish in my lens, but not in person. That's more true to color that way. So, good lighting, wet bar area, more funky, fun, melamine product. The walk out to the backyard. Lots of media ports all over the place. Uh, apparently they come in this way, so after skiing or something like that, this is where everything comes off. So it's not really a mud room, but with this flooring, you don't really worry. The garage has a couple funny things on it. Number one, tons of storage. That's not funny, that's just good. But it's got tongue and groove ceiling with crown molding. Uh, crown moldings are what they do in like Virginia and Georgia. Not around here. I don't know what the fire resistance is on this. It's hickory even, it's not even like Garbage wood, it's good wood. Um, oh yeah, how about some more storage? You left a snowboard screwed into the wall. And we'll epoxy the floor. It's probably eight grand to do all that, to epoxy the floor so the snow just melts right off. There is not a floor drain, there's not that level of detail, but there's plenty. There's bench seats here to, I don't know, if you drove home in your ski boots or your waders or something like that, but just thoughtful stuff everywhere. That is the central vac. You can see the GFCI, non-GFCI outlet for it right above. Water heater, furnace, AC, R2012. Looking up here, if you look through, that's QEST plumbing from, I think, 1996. So you might want to start Googling that and seeing if your insurance company will take it. If you're a USAA, it could be problematic. This is a built-in. There are other insurers who will take it. Um, you may want to have a plumbing inspection on it. Here's another one of the digital thermostats. And I'll do the mechanical room here. Well, not the mechanical, the storage. So here's the other furnace. Let's see the high efficiency piping. I'm guessing skis or something were hung up here. Every concert they ever went to. Some fun shows. Sprinkler system control. Storage comes around back here. Just kind of made use of everything. So this is one of the two bedrooms. I think, again, they're giving them credit for three, but there's two that are obvious. This one has a window well, has a good closet. It 
has a bathroom here, full bath, four inch tile floors, one of them's cracked, original vanities. I'm going to skip this room, come into here. This is the nicer of the two bedrooms. It's got the fun IKEA chandelier, has its own full bath. There was something that leaked coming off this tub. Don't know what happened here. But tub, vanity, big bedroom. That's a footer to the foundation here that they wrapped in wood, so you can certainly use the space. Could fit a California King down here if you needed to. It's big, no window well, big closet. More of the flooring, carpet in the bathroom, in the bedrooms, nothing in the bedrooms. And then this I think is more of an office. I don't know, it's just small. A little light. All three of these bedrooms are underneath the master. Don't know if I gave a good detail of the flooring that they did to the basement. I'm gonna guess that the original owners didn't have the basement finished, that it might have been a one bedroom because the finish downstairs is just different than upstairs. You can see the pine will dry out. You can fill that if you refinished. I wouldn't say they need refinishing yet, but it does scratch the softer wood. Entry, fireplace, living room, bar, Samsung. Dining room area, back to the master, powder room, office. 215 Ridge. Forgot there's another refrigerator in the laundry room which acts as an extension of the pantry. I don't think I actually caught this table very well. Or the industrial looking farmhouse sink. Or that view for serving purposes, openness. There's a peak. So, going past the house. Park regulations. <laughs> it's that close. <laughs>